Developing now, a little bit of everything seemed to catch fire overnight in South Bend, where firefighters responded to four calls in just over an hour. Good evening. Thank you for joining us at 6. I'm Lauren Moss. Terry has the week off. Mark Peterson is standing by with the latest details on all these fires. Mark. Certainly a lot of variety in these calls. You had a dumpster fire, a grass fire, a shed fire, and a garage fire all called in within about an hour's time uh, Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Uh, the garage fire by far causing the greatest amount of damage broke out behind a vacant home in the 200 block of South Wellington. Uh, that fire hot enough to melt some of the siding off a neighboring building. Uh, the neighbor on the other side, meantime, managed to capture video of the flames at their peak. Dude, what is that bumping sound? Stuff popping. That's, that, that's a garage that's on fire. Yeah. I don't know what's in it. Hopefully it don't travel. All I heard was pop, 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 pop. And I'm thinking, okay, it's fireworks. Until the lady came walking down the street and she was like, you're out, your backyard's on fire. I was like, what? Started running around the house, came back here and looked. I was like, oh, it's not my backyard, but there is a huge fire. Yeah, it was scary. The fire is still under investigation. The department says it doesn't uh, believe they're suspicious at this point. There's no evidence to link one event to the another. Interesting. All right, Mark Peterson live for us in South Bend. Mark, thank you.